Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the AC shear test, where AC stands for acromioclavicular. And the purpose of this test is to look for ACJ dysfunction. Now, just to point out on the video, we're only going to be performing the test on our patient's right arm. We're not going to be repeating the test on the left side. And the reason for that is we don't want to slow your video down. But of course, in practice, we always want you to compare the two to clarify your diagnosis. So let's go through how we perform the test. Um, the patient doesn't actually have to do anything. This is all done by the examiner. So the examiner places one hand on the clavicle at the front of the shoulder. And the other hand, if I can just turn um, probably to the side a little bit, the other hand is going to go on the spine of scapula. And it's important to mention with both hands that it's the heel of the hand that it's going to be in contact with the relevant structure. Thank you. So therefore, the heel of uh, my left hand is going to go on the spine of scapula, and the heel of my right hand is going to go onto the clavicle. And we can therefore interlock our fingers. And from here, all we need to do is squeeze the heel of our hands together. So I'm going to squeeze together at the clavicle and at the spine of scapula and feel for the movement with my hands. Now, a positive result in this test would be any abnormal or unexpected movement of the ACJ. For example, if you feel a clunking or if you feel excess movement at the joint, and that might indicate ACJ dysfunction. For example, if your patient has a torn acromioclavicular ligament, which is supposed to be stabilizing the joint, but because of a tear, there's less stability and therefore they get a clunk when you perform the test. Now, what do we find in clinical practice? Well, generally, this is a pretty solid test. There's not a lot to it. It's just about squeezing together. Um, you can use it alongside your other main ACJ test, which is the scarf test to assess for acromioclavicular pathology.